So MNB World is at uh, Howard in Mongolia. I'm joined by Mr. Vitaya Pinsa. Pan Singham. I always have a difficult. He has played in many roles in uh, the uh, Only God Forgives mechanic and the executioner, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. And you started your career at 50. So tell us about that. Like, why in that late uh, the stage of your life? You know, um, yeah, I mean, many people might think it's a, a late, you yeah. know, and I, I believe that's how, you know, people who have regular job and they think that, oh, they, at the age of 50, they might think about how would they retire, mm -hmm. right? Um, I'm very fortunate to, to find this, how is a new career at, 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 at that age because I just thought, I, I found it by accident. I never thought that I can do something else besides what I'm doing. You know, I, I ran a... Yes, to to tell us about that. Like yeah, I, I was running a very successful uh, business in Bangkok uh, with my wife. Uh, for the past 24 years, I, I, I run a classical ballet school, mm. a perf performing arts. Mm. And I thought it was, you know, fun and uh, we're doing quite well. But then I was discovered by a, a cameraman mm. who uh, worked for the Hollywood production film. And he asked me to be involved in one of his projects. And basically, I said to him, why not? And I did something with the project. And it was like domino effect. It just no, kept kick, 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 me from one you know, project to a, another one. And it just keep going. And it's been you know, uh, <laughs> happening for the last 10 years. And I'm having a great time. Mm -hmm. And I, I saw your film, oh, The Only God Forgive. That was, the, I think, the first film I saw you in. And in that movie, you were very stoic and very ruthless. And when I see you, you're, you don't you don't seem like that of a person. But also in, in that point, like Mongolians tend to like in, in historical terms, mm -hmm. we tend to be very like ruthless people. Mm -hmm. And maybe like in, in in your future, maybe do you want to like portray like any Mongolian? Historical oh, I, I am looking forward to, and you know what, the fact when you said about the character being stone, yeah. like a stone, is exactly what's happened in that particular movie. And again, if I can make you believe that I'm a, such a very uh, scary guy, yeah. means that I did a good job as an actor. Um, I was asked by the director, and it's interesting because even the way they do my makeup, they want to make me look like a stone. Yeah. Because sometimes when you see a statue, you know, you can feel like, oh, the statue is so, so powerful, you know, and you feel respect to the, the statue, yeah. you know. So that, that's how I have to think when I perform that, in that character. Again, in real life, we are not in that character. Yeah. But so when we get the, how do you say, the, the task about our character, we have to really work hard on learning about the character of each, you know, role that we are in. Mm. Like you mentioned, if, you know, a movie has to be something with the warrior, mm. then you have to come up with the idea of why, why do you have to be so, so brave, yes. so strong? Yes. Because you cannot show your enemy your weakness. Yes. And yes. when you understand that characteristic of the particular, you know, person, mm. then you can you believe enough that you would show it out naturally. Yeah. So when the audience see it, they trust and they believe in your character. And maybe do you want to like play like a, a Mongolian character? Uh, like if I have specific? the opportunity uh -huh. to be back here in Church. Mongolia, mm -hmm. I would say yes so quickly. And of course, I think it would be an honor for me to be part of the Mongolian cinema. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm looking forward to. I, 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 I want to see you in one of Mongolian films, actually. So you, you've you been in Mongolia for only a few days, though. Like, um, and maybe f before coming to Mongolia, what, what, what have you known about Mongolia? What were you expecting about Mongolia? It's, I First, I have to say that thanks to the organizer and the committees of the f festival that gave me the opportunity to be here. Um, Mongolia always on my dream list, you know, and it's exactly what I have in mind. I mean, of course, we in the we sitting in a in a you know city, and it's it's very metropolized and uh, very uh, modern. But I know that out there in the countryside, Mongolia is still part of a very big part of you know the world that has uh, natural resources. And we are, and the people of Mongolia are so close to nature, and that's what 
very important for us that we we have to be with nature and we have to respect nature you know if we don't respect nature that means we don't respect ourselves because we part of the nature mm -hmm. And, and maybe, like, what do you want to see, like, in, uh, in your time in Mongolia at this moment? Well, first of all, I think the first thing I need with the people, I want to see people. Uh, I had chance to work with one Mongolian film before. Uh, really? What, what was that? What was that film? It's called The Third Eye of God, oh. I, uh, with the actress named Sula and her husband Chadev, and they were such a wonderful couple to work with. And I, I. I was just you know, in my mind, I wish I could come back and visit them. I just saw them at the opening ceremony, so I was very pleased to see, see them. But of course, I want to I wanna know more about the culture, and I want to see the nature, how people live, you know, how... Nowadays, everything is so convenient, you know. If you want, you want to drink, you just go to, what, see you to buy something, you know. You don't think about walking to the stream somewhere and get the water, you know. You want to make a fire, you just turn on the electric burner and you got it. So, but that's, that's good. But how about the natural way? And I think I'm looking forward to see in the countryside of Mongolia to see the way people still live in a very simple, and they're happy. It, it might inspire you to, in your next role, maybe like a Mongolian person, <laughs> but also like a stone person, like a god. Do you think I, they can make me up and look a bit like a Mongolian? <laughs> I think, I think you, you have the look of a Mongolian, I would say. And my, my last question, my last question, like how can maybe like Mongolians, like us, uh, Mongolian uh, filmmakers, actors, uh, like break into the, the, the Hollywood system maybe? Well, you have to understand one thing. For us, even myself living in Bangkok, Thailand, to go to Hollywood in America is not that easy. You know, to, except if you have a big commitment to give up everything and then you just go. But if you're here in Mongolia, you have a chance as well. Because with the natural resources, beautiful locations, you know, uh, culture, and the people, uh, yes. it's <laughs> enough to attract the pro overseas production to come here and want to shoot the movie here. So when they do that, very often, like in Thailand, they will start looking for the local talents, local artists to work with. So if Hollywood comes to Mongolia, with, like I said, all the, you know, all the reason I mentioned, plus with the support of the government, the authority, you will have chance because they will say, oh, why don't we make movie in Mongolia, right? You'd be surprised, a lot of Hollywood movie in Thailand that you think is like, you know, um, Brazil, some, yeah. it's actually shot I mean, in, Indonesia. yeah, it's yeah. shot in, in Bangkok, you know, Thailand. same here, if they're here, and you're ready for it. If you're an actor, you want to get into more of an international style of acting, you can start, you know, maybe watching the Hollywood movie or international production movie, and then you learn the style. And when they get here, you go and cast for it, you can get involved. And it can happen, just the, like the way it happened to me, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, I hope that happens with some Mongolian actors or filmmakers. And, yes, and, and, and it, it, it's possible. It's, like I said, it's nothing impossible if you try. Well, thank you for your time, sir, and I hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you, Anand. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you.